Jane, John, you may not have noticed it, but they came back. <laughs> they came back when I was still over there talking to Chris, and I love it. Yes. I love the idea that you can just come back, I'm not at the desk, and I'll get here when I feel like it. <laughs> That's the casual way to approach your yeah. job. Yeah. Hey, uh, do you have any plans for this weekend? I know it's only Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? It's only hump day. Yeah. But according to the city sex guidelines, every day is hump day. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have? Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Anything? Are you gigging anywhere? Are you doing anything? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm writing some orchestral charts. I'm playing with the BSO at Tanglewood. <laughs> Boston Symphony. Wow. Yeah. I'm wow. playing. But I'm going to spend the weekend composing the orchestration. Big orchestra. I'm, I'm going to be playing, singing. It's going to be great. Wow. Well, uh, when can I see it? You should come. It's on the 4th of July weekend. Can you come? I, got, you come? I got plans. I got plans. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I, that's great. Well, yeah. I'll record it and I'll send it to you. Oh, would you please? Yes. Because I'm going to hold you to it because it's on TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got witnesses. Is it going to be broadcast? Uh, yeah, it's going to be on TV. Well, yeah. then I'll watch TV. There it is. Yeah. 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 I got one of those. <laughs> I think you're on one of those. What? Oh, <laughs> let's do the show. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you for reminding me because I thought we were just hanging. Yes. Yeah. Folks, my monologue can sometimes get a little bogged down in serious stories about toxic politics, congressional gridlock, and suspect tuna sandwiches. So it's nice every so often to take a break and bring you happier news, like we're launching helpless animals into space again. And I'll tell you all about it in my 13.8 billion year old segment, Space News Animal Edition. The latest in space news is that NASA has sent squid into space for research. Now, one imagines they'll be testing the effects of cosmic radiation on aquatic life forms. Should be fairly simple. We go now live to the International Space Station. Commander Lewis, how are the experiments on those squid going? <laughs> Keep up the good work, sir. NASA has not said what they're going to do with the squid once they finish their research, but just in case, they're launching a shipment of cocktail sauce and lemon wedges. <laughs> now, so for those of you who've always felt that space just isn't corporate enough, I've got some great news in my still ongoing segment, Space News! Cross-Platform Synergy Edition. NASA announced a brand new partnership yesterday. Tide is developing the first laundry detergent for astronauts' clothing on the space station. Very important that astronauts have clean clothes. You want to look your best while you're peeing into a shop vac. <laughs> now, you may have noticed that headline used the word first detergent. We've been sending people to space for 60 years, so <laughs> what have they been doing all this time? Apparently, and I did not want to know this, Astronauts wear their underwear, gym clothes, and everything else until they can't take the filth and stink anymore. Good news, college roommates. You've got the right stuff. <laughs> Keep in mind, in order to prevent bone loss, astronauts have to work out two hours a day, which makes their clothes stiff from all that sweat, and they're deemed toxic. In space, no one can hear you scream, but they can smell you from a mile away. <laughs> And once the clothes are so rank that no one can take it anymore, they're disposed of by being sent to burn up in Earth's atmosphere aboard discarded cargo ships. So remember that the next time you catch a snowflake on your tongue. A non... a non-zero portion of it is Commander Mike Hopkins' tidy whities We'll be right back with Christine Baranski. Yeah! 